Holy moly, Palantir smashes through $50 on election day, and we had amazing earnings showing the return to growth, but I was taking a closer look too at their balance sheet and saw an interesting single line item that makes me much more confident in their business, actually in for the short term. So without much further ado, Palantir just had a huge jump in customer deposits, which now sits at $367 million. Now, the comparison metric is from December of 2023, so to be sure, if you fly back in time one quarter to Q2 2024 results, we see their customer deposits on their liabilities was only $222 million versus that 209. That is an increase of over $145 million over one quarter of customer deposits now sitting on their balance sheet. That is 65% more in just one quarter, and the reality of their business accelerating is no doubt building more proof in the pudding as this is part of many of their contracts. Now, customer deposits wise on their SEC filing is defined as their way of holding money for remaining contracts that could end up getting terminated prematurely. Now, just to be conservative, I wouldn't say all this is guaranteed, but even just looking at the long-term non-current customer deposits, it's a very small percentage in comparison. Now, jumping their customer deposits by 65% means that over the course of one quarter, specifically for Q3, customers are putting their money where their mouth is. And even if the government for some of these contracts are cut short for any needs-based decisions, either way, it shows that Pounder has to execute and perform. And that's the first reason I like seeing this big jump. Something specifically in this quarter took place where you can argue it's delayed from their work maybe from previous quarters, and a lot of companies just decided spilling into the following quarter of this one. But the significance of this jump means to me something might have clicked, either on the customer side first or Palantir side. If it's the customer side, then to me that's just more recognition from all of Palantir's earlier efforts, making these potential clients aware of what they're missing out on for their organizations, or maybe on their own, they're finally realizing that implementing artificial intelligence themselves is not a small feat. But on Palantir's side, it could be that the AIP account events, the YouTube and X videos posted, and blogs are finding their way into customers' heads, or simply word of mouth marketing, especially at these AIP account events and the boot camps, and beginning to take hold and maybe even compound on their earlier efforts. But that's still just the beginning. Hearing about Palantir isn't enough to get them to hand over some money and make a deposit. Palantir might have finally refined their intake process too to handle the increasing volume of interested customers. Now, remember, before getting ahead, these are deposits. So the work still needs to be done and then eventually get recognized as revenue and executed over the life of their contracts. Plus, a lot of these stipulations apply to their massive government deals. So no doubt this is probably skewed towards that arm of their business. And we also saw that Maven deal come through recently and other prominent projects like Titan and continued work across the branches. But still, the number itself shows something is working for Palantir jumping 65%. Now, this is also another clue and anchoring point for us now as observers from the outside. How is this going to trend into the future quarters now? If I'm going to see an increase as a baseline and continue to accumulate, that's amazing. Then something definitely has improved. But if it remains stagnant and it's something else we can question and utilize as a piece of evidence to go and look what is happening and causing this. But optimistically, this is on the start on the trend based on management's optimism on their business going forward. But either way, it's a good leading metric for us to see. But what are your thoughts down below? And I'll see you in the next video.